Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm on the mission to hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of 2025, and your support means everything. So don't be that person who watches but doesn't subscribe. Thanks for being here, and let's jump right in. Hello everybody, yes it's with ya, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to make a custom inventory backpack system, something like that, I guess, what Grow a Garden uses. Um, I honestly don't even know what episode we're on. I think we're on episode five, right? Or episode six of this. Um, let me just double check real quick. Yeah, so we're on episode uh, six, part six. Um, so going through this, uh, in this video, we're going to be specifically talking about making the backpack. Now, we're actually probably going to be coming back to this in the series because we're going to make it a little more customizable. But this is actually going to be a very simple tutorial. Um, it's actually something you can use for all of your games. So uh, feel free to do that. Now, if you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. It means so much to me trying to get under K. That's kind of the intro. But um, yeah, very simple, quick to do, guys. We're going to actually go into the description. And there should just be some links. So feel free to grab the links. Um, and it's going to take you to a dev form. I'll also give you the model link, whatever is easier. Um, now, if you want, uh, this is a big thing going on right now. A lot of people who are watching this video are new to Grow a Garden. Um, I have the kit on my profile page. If you want to just grab the kit, um, you can do that. It's specifically, you can just go to the Grow a Garden right here and hit download or edit in studio, whatever you like. Um, but if you're following the tutorial series, you're just going to have to follow along. But of course, it's going to bring you here. So this is Satchel. Now, uh, this isn't sponsored or anything, of course. This is just an open source modern backpack system that you can use. Um, it's really, really cool. Now, I'm, I don't know if Grow a Garden uses this one. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't because it's honestly like pretty simple to use and uh, anyone can do it. Um, but what's really nice about this, so and I'll even just show you right here and we'll load into the game. But what's really nice is you can just have like this clean UI, you can search for items and it all, it's already all made for you. So you don't even have to do anything. Now, maybe there's even a demo right here. You can tell um, if we watch, but like when you equip it, it has some certain things, there's slot organization. So you can even drag stuff up and down. Um, and then also there's um, top bar. So that's what the best part about this is, is um, there's top bar and yeah, customizing. If you want to customize it a certain way, it's up to you. But yeah, that has that little backpack item that which we're mainly looking for. So very simple to do, you guys. Um, either if you're on this page, you can go right here and go to the creator hub and it's just going to be this item right here. Now you can hit download or you can hit uh, get inventory. I recommend getting it just because you might as well. And we're going to load it up. So um, one of the main things now, I want to just keep a, keep a thing for you guys. Don't even pay attention to what I have right here because um, I'm reprogramming the entire game. So I hope you guys can bear with me because after this video, we'll probably be talking about data saving. Um, but it's honestly, I'm reprogramming the entire game. So it's been a little bit of a pain in the butt, but it's looking out really good. And I'm actually using someone's uh, tutorials because it's it's very programmed very well. So yeah, um, but very simple to do. Just feel free to click it, uh, click it in your toolbox. And then um, after that, you can actually, um, if you if you did download the model, go to model tab and just click model right here. Um, but it's just a satchel thing. Now it's already in the kit. Uh, if you don't, if you don't uh, like, you just want to get the game. It's already in the game. You don't need to worry about it. Um, but if you're just importing this into any game that you want, and honestly, it's really nice. Um, you can delete the thumbnail camel then read me. Just move satchel into starter player scripts. That's all you got to do. So we'll just grab this and you put it in starter player, starter player scripts. Now. Um, and then do that. And so it's already in the game. So uh, that's pretty nice. Um, now, looking into this, um, of course, this is just going to require the initialization of module. Um, and then in here, it does pretty much everything. Um, you can, I think you can do some other stuff in here. So, uh, you know, if you want, you can look up item events. So state changed. Um, this kind of goes through some things like uh, backpack added. So something gets added, um, item removed. And we're going to go into this, like I was saying uh, later on, so uh, don't worry about that. But um, as you can tell, these are top bar plus. So yeah, this has top bar, which uh, basically goes with that. But yeah, this is all of the stuff. You can customize this if you want. And so it's a little hard to understand at the beginning, but um, it's actually really nice. So yeah, as you can tell, it uh, goes through here the top bar, um, backpack GUI, and uh, you know things like this. It honestly has all the comments too, so... Um, it's it's made look how wow that's a lot of code I didn't even notice holy crap this is why it's good to do it and just get something like this because it's open source which is really really nice now when it comes to customizing what I was talking about is we'll probably have to come back to this and when it comes to like if you have multiple seeds it will just add it and it will just change the quantity item and like all that stuff but for now we're good 
um yeah don't mind i'll just test it and show you guys real quick don't mind the way these things are and all you guys are having some issues with uh like making seeds and doing this honestly don't worry about that right now i think if you want to just wait till the end of the series or wait till the grow like the growing in the plant system part wait to do that and then we'll talk i'll be giving you a deep explanation of how to make seeds and everything because that goes through that um but i'm just gonna add this inventory don't mind that i'm gonna get cash here real quick and it's gonna do some stuff um but so as you can tell so it has a highlight looks really cool um pretty nice and then you hit the inventory button same thing so you know you can drag it around move it to different slots um it's 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 a really nice system and then when you close inventory you don't even have an inventory so um really nice to do and yeah so we're going to come back and customize this later but for now that's all you have to do um and this works for any game and um yeah that's that's literally it that's um that's the tutorial <laughs> uh and yeah there's not really any programming you need to do don't worry about it i know i know you guys are wondering probably what, what are we gonna do like it has like certain categories and stuff we'll worry about that later when we implement all of that but for now we're just gonna have it just like this and it's a great way of um having customized backpacks and uh you know everything like that so yeah um and i will yeah so that's that's pretty much it you guys um feel free to join the discord if you are in the discord it just tells you everything and it'll help you out so if you need help over there and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next video Bye bye